I mean, Flex, this must be one of the best kind of fortnights of your whole life. Really. Sorry, mate, I had my Yokoras mask on. I don't know if you could... <laughs> sorry, I don't know if you could hear me properly. Oh, my word. Yeah. Is he yeah. on the way to Old Trafford, do you think? Yeah. Do you think that's going to Let's happen? get behind it, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Amarine was asked about it as well. He said, you know, it'll be disrespectful to talk about that. I'm, you know, I'm not doing that. Yokoras got to make his own decisions yeah, in the yeah. summer. No, because it know. really worked last time when you got a new <laughs> young European manager in and then he signed all the players who had played for him before. That yeah. really worked, didn't it? Yeah, yeah some so. of them were right. Yeah, some <laughs> Yeah. Which ones but, are yeah. they? Which uh, one? Martinez. Uh, oh, Nana's yeah, yeah. doing all right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all right. Majorawi's not bad. Yeah. Um, but let's focus on, on yes. Man City. Yes. It's unbelievable, let's. isn't it? I mean, three defeats in a row. Um, mm. And I think, I think, you know, you, you came back at me on this, but I think the Spurs one you take with a bit of a pinch of salt. I do think you take that with a bit because of a pinch of salt. Because of how many changes there were? There were loads of changes. Um, played some young players. I don't think the Carabao Cup has been their priority for a long time. They've won it too many times, haven't they, really? Mm. There's, there should almost be a ban on them winning it. because they you say managed to that, win it though, somewhere. mate. That but, team. So, but, but then again, and then you head into, you know, losing to Bournemouth and got yeah. overrun by Bournemouth as well. He literally said after the game they, they were too intense for us. And then thrashed, let's yeah, be thrashed, honest, yeah, by Lisbon. End, yeah. with, with mistakes as well. Penalties given away. But what were we going to say about the uh, the uh, the Spurs result? No, just there, there were still quite a few senior players playing. Mm. Like it wasn't like complete kids, you know. Um, I know it was a different shape and stuff. But no, I, I take your point. I take your point. But it's still on the same run. You know, in that game, there was Diaz and Stones. Rico Lewis plays a lot of games. Nathan Ake. Um Phil Foden up front, Gundogan played, so it wasn't it wasn't completely off. But um, yeah, City are in a bad spot. They're in a bad spot. They're going through a tough time. I think Bernardo Silva even said we're going through going for a really dark time right now. But they've got a few injuries coming back, and I think they'll probably bounce back soon. But in this little period, the teams in and around City are pushing for the league, i.e., Liverpool and Arsenal. Not so much Arsenal at the minute because they haven't able to haven't been able to, but they they need to capitalise on this little blip from City because City will sort themselves out eventually. Yeah, in fact, uh, let's hear from Pep Guardiola because he says that they're going to face this challenging period head on. I'm not agree with him. We are not in the dark side. We played really bad against Bournemouth. We played really good today. Don't really regret we can concede the third or fourth. You have to it's not necessary the penalties. I would say, ah, we cannot start the second half a scoring goal. Yeah, it can happen. They do the good action, can happen, but 44 minutes or 47 minutes left. We were close to score the second, the third, and emotion is difficult when we play the first half that we played, and after two minutes, second half, we are losing 3-1. Uh, it's not easy to swallow, but it's an experience, and I'm here. So it's a big challenge, and we knew that will be a tough season for a start. We know it, we talk about that for many reasons. But this is what it is. I like it. I love it. I want it. I love that. <laughs> He's embracing like it. it. Oh, that's the way he wants it. He um, likes it a lot. Yeah, yeah, he does. But, I mean, obviously, you know, there will be concern behind that. Do we feel, can we be as cynical as to say, Flex, that this is all down to the injury to Rodri? Not all of it. Not all of it. Big part. Big part because the stats don't lie. You They're know, so open at the back. Yeah, they are. And the protection isn't there. Their dominance on the ball. Um with how they keep the ball and how they move the ball and retain possession isn't there when Rodri's not there. Like he said, you know, currently the best player in the world, you know, voted the best player in the world. He's won the Ballon d'Or. And even before that, his stats back to last season, when Rodri doesn't play, City tend not to win. Um, it's just as simple as that. So that definitely will be hurting them. But when they've had, you know, concurrent injuries to the likes of Doku, Walker, De Bruyne, um, who else? Stones, Diaz. Mm. That's five just off the top of my head. Um, I think Savino was out for a game then came back it, it's you know there's, there's been a lot there has mm. been a lot of, of injuries I mean Pep was saying the other day wasn't he that he only had 13 outfield players yeah. that he could, he could but, play but you know with the with the embarrassment of riches that Manchester City have um, you know they're, they're not going to get any sympathy for how good they've been for how long they've been they're not going to get any sympathy and they won't mm. be looking for it that, that, that's it they've just got to get players back and get back playing well but they are in a bad spot they can be got at that the defence as well because they're playing so many different combinations they're just wide open mm. mate. Wide. Mm. and actually this had been coming even in the games what City had won you know 1-0 at home to Southampton the last minute against Wolves the Fulham game the Fulham game if, if Adama Traore had finished his dinner do you know what game, I mean so th this was kind ahead. of yes I know look against Sparta Pro, you know they, they, they did the business there but this had been coming you know, it's almost like mm. how Arsenal were, were due a few couple of bad results as well. It's, it's, it's on its way. So I'm not surprised to see this, but I do think they will turn a corner when well, the players back. Well, what's interesting is, though, coming up next is Brighton away. And That's Brighton tough. have started really, really well. Yeah. 
And then uh, Spurs at home as well. And Spurs, let's be honest, are a team where Man City, yeah. you know, if you were going to pick one bogey side, yeah. it, it is probably... Then straight the after that, league. I know there's Champions League, but after that in the league, it's Liverpool away, mate. And then Forest uh, at home. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, so they could we, be out of the tight race we, in the next three games. If it goes badly, do you think genuinely they could be? If it went badly, but I just don't think it will. You think they'll they'll, they'll find regather. a way to because they're only what two points off of Liverpool, aren't they? Yeah. Um. Obviously, it, they want to be much more. You know, going away to Brighton's not easy. They're playing for some really good stuff. Um. So yeah, I just think, and also they get judged to the standard that they've been setting, which mm. has been out of this world, hasn't it? Uh, as much as we've talked about, obviously, the injuries having a huge impact and especially Rodri and, and that being a problem, do you think any part of this is to do as well with everything going on off the pitch? And I'm talking about the charges hanging over them, Pep's future being up in the air, you know, Cheeky Bagiristan, the sporting director, is mm. going to leave You know, in the summer. They've already hired Hugo Viana. But all of those things mixed together off the pitch, do you think that as well might be having a bit of an impact here? I, I think... You- I think less so the 115 charge, more so Pep, what's going to happen? Are you staying? Are you going? Are you going to extend? Um, like you say, Cheeky's moving on. Um, and, and and some of their players were, were very close to leaving in the summer, sort of like an end of an era. You look at what happened with Edison, De Bruyne. They've tried to keep getting um, Bernardo Silva to stay. Um, so I do think there is a an element of like if, if Pep does go, then some of them can drop. You know, the domino effect could kick in. Mm. But I wouldn't go as far as saying, you know, they're so unsettled by these 115 charges. Oh, poor player. I don't know how they're managing to keep focus. Yeah, I feel like if you're it's a footballer, not you just crack on with they it. They just crack on. It's not, you know, and Pep said many times, which we've seen him say in the pressers, we believe we've done nothing wrong. I, I believe mm. in our in our team, in our legal team, and they're going to go and prove us prove us innocent. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, if we're winning games, no one was saying, oh, you know, <laughs> is it because of the 115 charges? No, it's very true. It's very true. When you look at them in terms of the, the title race then at the moment as well, because I feel like, you know, the only saving grace at the weekend for, for Arsenal who who lost to Newcastle was the fact that Man City also lost yeah, to Yeah, it's Bournemouth. Liverpool's weekend, does it, it? Well, does it feel like the door really is opening up here for Liverpool and Arne Slot to, 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 you know, continue this and... and and push themselves forward in this title race. Well, or or do you feel like no, hold on, this City team will get their players back, will go back on another run. They're still the favourites for this. Title. I think it. I think it just depends in this in this little period now where we just said City got some difficult games. If they continue to drop points and that gap widens, it's it's going to swing in the favour of Liverpool. But you can you can never count Man City out. Ever. No, no, you no. Just, even if they ended up five or six, seven, eight points behind at, at, at any given time depending on what point of the season but any time near now around christmas early january mid january it's just too it's it's too far it's too far and they've still got it in them to do 10 in a row 15 in a row they've done it they've done it so many times yeah. it would be stupid of us you know as much as i hope that happens it would well actually it's liverpool <laughs> oh. I'm in a bit of bother here. Hold on a minute. You're, in a, Liverpool bit, you're a huge bother, mate. Where's you, Arsenal going? Mate, Arsenal, you know who in. you need to win it? Forest. Forest. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Come on, the Forest. Oh, Come mate. On the, are we, are yeah. we completely ruling out Chelsea and Forest? What? We, Seriously? For the league? Yeah. What are you talking about? Why not? Of course we are. Why not? A third. Did you see Chelsea against Man United? Yeah, they've got a point. Yeah, it's all right. against an awful Man United team. Chelsea right, are nowhere right. near being able to win the title. And with the greatest of respect to Forrest, um, I think the table will... I think they'll, listen, they'll drop. Listen, they'll drop when, when there's an open top bus parade... <laughs> I'll uh, be there, Forrest. In get Nottingham. It. I'll be there. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to replay you that clip. Mate, if they stop Liverpool and City the, win I the league, the, I, I was will asking be there. the question I'll in buy November. a Forrest shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.